Man, listen. people i wanted to share with you some of the works of my missus michelle staddard she's written a book spiritual poems of encouragement for the soul this book is something that is part of her life's work and she worked extremely hard i was with her on many occasions while she attempted to put his work together for those of you who feel like this isn't enough for your reading pleasure we now have its sequel broken but not bound which is also written by michelle Staddard and even has some of the illustrations done by my son omani and this one takes it up a notch by not only giving you real good poetry but we also have some illustrations in here for your visual satisfaction as well so these are both available links will be posted in the description feel free to get your copy today all right you guys already know what i like to say if it don't apply let it fly but if you got anybody who's into that kind of work link is in the description get your copy today now how's it going everyone out there youtube folks facebook friends people of black junction tv my name is ottoman this is the hard black truth and you guys already see what it is and i'm about to go in on i got links posted in the description i may have clips airing of this uh, uh, incident as it was put out by police already, but let's get right into the story, right? It says a black high schooler was arrested in Texas last week for walking home in the middle of a street during a snow storm as he attempted to avoid ice covered sidewalks. Sounds reasonable enough, doesn't it? Rodney Reese, 18, the man is 18 years old, high schooler, was arrested at 1045 on February the 16th in Plano and charged with being a pedestrian in the middle of the roadway. All right, says police said officers received a call about a black man seen stumbling along in the middle of the snowy street wearing a short sleeve shirt and was sent to perform a wellness check. Now, listen, I'm no dummy. You call for a wellness check on someone when you see what appears to be someone who isn't dressed for the occasion, stumbling about in the middle of the street, that might make some sense. Now, having said that, having said that, it is icy out there, it is snow out there, you've taken a terrain that is normally easy for anybody to walk on, and it has now be, been made difficult, and nobody wants to fall and bust their ass. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I totally get it. The police officers went out there because someone called to be, for someone to go out there. You know, once they approached the young man and he explained to them that he was fine and he refused to take any rides from them and he explained that he was heading home, that should have been it. He was clearly moving. He clearly didn't want to engage. He clearly didn't want to be stopped. You can sit there and view that as a reason to be alarmed for something else, but those are the police officers choosing to believe that in their mind, choosing to escalate a situation where it clearly doesn't call to be escalated. The Plano Police Department released body cam footage of the encounter with Reese on Facebook on Friday. In the video, police are seen approaching Reese as they repeatedly ask him where he is going and if he's okay, to which he replies that he is fine and on his way home. They come, excuse me, they continue to follow him for two minutes and 17 seconds before arresting him in the alleyway. They literally followed him for over two minutes before they decided to uh, impede his progress and tell him, oh look, this is an investigation and now you are under arrest. And, and this is this is a picture of the young man right there, okay? I, I, I feel that fro, that's a fro that I rock many a times. I identify with this young man even him being 18 years old. It's sick that anybody would have to. He was coming home from work. You understand what I'm saying? So I get what people are gonna sit here and try to say about the police officers, but think about it from his position. Now the story goes on to say, Reese, 
who is in high school told Fox 4 that he had been walking home from his job at Walmart and didn't stop for the officers because he didn't need their help. Point blank, period, fact. He didn't need their help. The teen also said that the following, excuse me, that following the police killing of George Floyd in Minnesota last year, interactions with law enforcement make him nervous. Like, well, it should. This is just more proof of it. You understand what I'm saying? These folks have been given permission to go out there and halt your freedom on the spot. And if you do not comply, they are lawfully allowed and some would even argue obliged okay to take your life as a result and they just turned around and proved all of this that i'm saying you can sit there and say oh no police ain't all that man they just turned around and proved it the team responds i'm on my way home i'm straight excuse me in the footage a female officer can be heard calling out to reese hey man you trying to get home are you trying to get home yes yeah, she asked him if he's trying to get home she asked if he needed a ride you know she she was she was just doing her thing, but you know what? He made it clear. That's the one thing that, you know, boggles my mind. I understand your police officer. I understand you got sent out there to do a wellness check. But guess what? The civilian that you encountered and uh, attempted to offer help to, he flat out rejected you. He flat out denied you. That is his right. That is his right. The team responds, I'm on my way home. I'm straight. All right, but you're walking in the middle of the road. Reese replies that he understands that adding, you know, and he added, my bad, okay? For 137 seconds, excuse me, 137 seconds, the officers continue to follow Reese, who grows more frustrated the longer the encounter goes on. Of course, he's trying to get home, and you're steady following this dude, okay? And he doesn't want to talk to you, and he's letting you know this, and he's told you everything that you needed to know to you know, safe, safely close out your wellness check for him. On numerous occasions, Reese states to the officer he has gone home, though they repeatedly ask him where he's going. And see, that's the damn problem. The man told you he's going home. The man told you he was good. The man told you he didn't need no help. The man told you he was sorry for walking in the middle of the road. And the man told you that he was having problems navigating because there's ice on the side of the roads and on the sidewalks and whatnot but he's making his way home, okay? At that point, get your ass back in the vehicle, and if you really feel that concern, hell, monitor the dude, but leave him the hell alone. It ain't your job to sit there and stop him, get name and identification and all this bullshit because somebody called for someone who, after speaking to him, was clearly just going home. Excuse me, guys. Around a minute and 10 seconds into the encounter, Reese asks, what do y'all want? As he turns down an alleyway with the officers following in tow. We're just trying to figure out where you're going. God damn it. Yes, I'm reading this and I'm getting pissed off. The motherfucker just told you he's going home. See, that's the problem with these police officers. The female officer then asks if Reese would then, excuse me, if he would like them to give him a ride home. No, I'm good. I do this like every night, literally, Reese says. The officer then asks him if he's cold, and he asks him what his name is, to which Reese responds, I don't know. She then asks Reese to stop for a minute so the officer can talk to him. You understand what I'm saying? Look, look, guys, I can continue reading this, but you catch my drift? This is bullshit. This young man should have never found himself in handcuffs having arrested the police. But let's keep reading because you'll see the audacity. Well, you can see where they go. Reese asks them to go away and tells the officer, please don't touch me. Ma'am, don't touch me. Because these officers, because they have this badge and their gun and their tasers, and when they have their backup, they know that they can be Billy Badass. And this female, okay, not trying to downgrade or denigrate women whatsoever, but she gets big and bold and she steps in front of this person's way who is clearly trying to get home because she knows she got to get, because she knows she got the backup. And she's putting their hands up. You can't go up to any of these officers and pat them on the back without their permission or hug them or you can't go up to these officers and approach them in any way like that okay but we live in a society where we're told yo if they put their hands on you 
you know, you just file the law, you comply, and then and then you worry about it later on in court. You know how many black people I've heard tell me that shit, and they say with a straight face as though we don't live in the United States of America? And so, you know, people get shot because they get pulled over, and, you know, they want to sit there and go back and forth with the cop. That's not the time to go back and forth with the cop. You do that in court, bitch. The fuck you talking about? This is the United States of America. Yeah, I get what you're saying. On paper, that makes absolute sense. But the reality is, you get no justice in court, so you might as well say what you got to say when you feel like saying it. Many of us know the court systems personally. Many of us know that the court systems do not favor us, and we know that personally. Many of us have had experience with these courts when it comes to filing a complaint and honestly at the end of the day the, the the most hope that we have is that if we file a complaint and he files a complaint and she files a complaint and if they file a complaint well then after four and five years when this officer finally kills somebody and gets fucked up for it and the media finally decides to scrutinize this person's past they'll have all of these complaints. Otherwise, you have motherfuckers that do that shit habitually as standard practice in their career. And right now, many of them are gathering pensions after having terrorized whole communities of people. The male officer then calls out that they're going to do an investigation to which Reese replies for what? I'm going home. The male officer then tells the team, you are officially detained. Reese replies no and attempts to walk away from the officers, but he is stopped. All right, all right. So this is where, you know, you start getting into the nitty gritty and, and the audacity of these police officers. Now, I will say, once you are told that you are detained, I mean, you are detained. You can't just say no. I mean, you could argue about the legality of it all day long, but if an officer tells you you're detained, he, he basically, he or she basically telling you to, you know, chill the hell out. It's on them whether they want to detain you and leave you there. It's on them whether they want to put you in handcuffs. That's up to them. But they tell you you're detained. Literally, you are detained until they tell you that you are free to go. All right? So him walking away, that didn't bode too well. But you know what? I get it. You're walking out there in the middle of the cold. There's snow and ice all over the damn place. You ain't got no jacket on. I don't know what that's about. You done brought the wrong attention to yourself, but you know what? You just got done working. You're on your way home. That is what you want to do is get home. And these people are sitting here harassing you for no other reason than to harass you after you told them your purpose was to get home. The footage shows Reef briefly resisting arrest, calling out, let me go as the officers instruct him to relax, stop resisting. The scuffle continues for just over a minute before Reese is handcuffed. The female officer asks him where he lives, but Reese refuses to respond. If he's not going to cooperate, walk him to the car, the male officer says. Reese is eventually placed in the back of a police cruiser and charged with being a pedestrian in the roadway, a misdemeanor offense. According to the police department's Facebook post, the arresting officer noted that Reese resisted arrest but chose not to charge him. Well, you might have looked at it as though you were doing this young man a favor. No, you know that you put him in handcuffs and you were getting ready to arrest him on some bullshit. But you know what? How many people have found themselves in prison and have found what, what would otherwise be some simple charges that you could probably pay off with a fine that get compounded because you decided to resist a little bit and they hit you with that whole book of the law and now you find yourself doing some serious time or having to live a little bit more uncomfortably than you normally would in prison as a result of police officers saying oh he resisted arrest this is an 18 year old young black man who just came home from working those hard to do jobs that Joe Biden be talking shit about all the time. This was somebody who was obeying the law and did nothing, nothing on his own to, to bring this kind of attention to him. Yes, he was walking at night in the middle of the road with no jacket on, but you know what? That's his prerogative. And he told you he was good. He said it multiple times. Fuck. 
the high schooler, excuse me, according to the police department's Facebook post, the arresting officer noted that recent, okay, they didn't charge him. The high schooler spent the night in jail, man. How about that? You got done coming from work. You were heading home. You in prison, you in jail, not prison, but you in jail. They just treated me like I was a criminal or something, Reese told Fox 4. He told the network that he had been walking in the middle of the road because the sidewalk was covered in ice and snow. And you know what? I would expect these police officers who are out there on the road to recognize as much. Yeah, he doesn't have a jacket. You know what? He lives in the state of Texas. The same fucking reason why those power grids are down. The same freaking reason why those wind turbines aren't spinning no more. The same freaking reason why you got people living in shelters and warm-up centers right now. It might be the same reason why this young man is walking home without a jacket. It might be the same reason why this young man is having to walk wherever he can gain a stable footing. People got blindsided with that shit, you know what I'm saying? Everyone else is able to make excuses, but a young man walking home without a jacket in the middle of the street. Oh no, we got to do something about this. Oh, he ain't talking to me? Oh, we got to ham his ass up. That's exactly how these racist white supremacist bastards think. The teen explained that he continued to walk away from the officers because he didn't need help. A simple encounter, a simple encounter. That's why I tried to dodge it so I could make it home. I don't know, he tearfully said. Plano Police Chief Ed Drain told KDFW TV that the charge was dropped against Reese because the arrest wasn't consistent with why officers were called to investigate. They should have taken him home is where they should have gone, Drain said. The chief did, however, back his officers for checking on Reese in the first place. You ain't even have to say shit. Any, see, this is the problem with some of y'all motherfuckers. Anybody with common sense can understand why someone might have made a phone call. And we can understand why having phone call been placed, you know, the officers are obliged to go and check up on the motherfucker. After the motherfucker done told you, he ain't do shit and he don't want to mess with you and he just trying to get home. Man, take your ass back in your cruise and go home. Or go home about the rest of your shift. That's it. Again, if you really felt that strongly, you could have followed the dude at a distance. He wasn't doing shit but walking. They should have taken him home. The chief did say that in the first place. There's a lot of information that we know about this case that we didn't know at the time. Those officers didn't know his age. It doesn't make a fucking difference, okay? They didn't know he was 18. It doesn't make a fucking difference. And I'm sorry that I'm just swearing on end because it pisses me off. Tamir Rice was killed at 13 playing with a toy fucking gun. The police officer, nothing happened to them. The, the cruiser, they rolled up on this little child and the cruiser wasn't even at a full stop without this officer out, gun drawn, pointed at him to execute the child. They didn't know he worked at Walmart. They didn't know where he lived. You know what? It is not their fucking business to know any of those things. It's not. You're conducting an investigation based off of a wellness check. Is he okay? Yes, he told you he's okay. Where is he going? He told you he was going home. Why are you walking in the middle of the street? Well, I'm trying to avoid the ice. Do you need help? No. Do you want a ride? No. All right. You communicated. He communicated back. End of story. Again, as a police officer, you have the right to follow behind a young man at a distance but let him be you don't have to be like that's the bullshit you signed up for and all of you good cops out there i don't see any of you i don't hear enough of you and all of you bad cops out there yeah they're doing bullshit like this drain also said he doesn't believe 
race was a factor in the arrest, but added that he can't get inside people's heads or hearts. Now, that comment I find amazing for him to make because uh, uh, Reese said he believes that the call that brought officers to the scene and his subsequent arrest were based on the color of his skin. Just because I'm black, that's it. Because I'm black, I fit the description. It hurts, man, he said. I don't even think the call would have happened if I wasn't black. Honestly, I really don't. Here's the deal. The world may never know. But at the end of the day, this young man found himself in jail, albeit for a night, because of an encounter with police where he simply did not want to acquiesce to their authority. And the police acted out much like we expect police to do. And they decided that they were going to exercise their authority and escalate the situation until they had an arrest. They didn't have any real reason to pull this young man over. He didn't necessarily present them with any reason to pull him over. Uh, him being a pedestrian out in the middle of the road, considering the conditions on the ground at the time, are perfectly reasonable. And what you could have, should have, would have, doesn't even matter at this point. Because what you ended up doing was terrorizing another black youth and creating a further gap in this divide that's already in place there. Police in the United States of America will never be seen as an essential or how can I say necessary part of our community as far as anything we're trying to develop or grow or build upon. You're always going to be looked at and stigmatized because the shit that you do gets put out there and you guys don't do anything for yourselves to make it better. Those two officers should have left them alone, plain and simple, and that's all I really have to say about it. You guys let me know how you feel about everything. Again, links in the description. Holla at me. Hit me up on my cash app. My name is Adamir. Peace.